welcome back in today's excel vba video we are going to see some different kinds of formattings that we can apply to our cells in microsoft excel so up till now we have covered all about fonts and copying and pasting the text so in this video we are actually going to move towards the alignment group in the home tab and if we take a closer look at the alignment group roughly we have these alignment options and the orientation options available to us in microsoft excel so we are going to see these different kinds of options over here only we are going to see that how can we change the orientation of the cells in microsoft excel we can see how can we wrap text over the cells in the cells or how can we unwrap it then also we are going to see that how can we merge or unmerge the cells in microsoft excel but all this is going to be used with the help of the visual basic coding through macros okay so first of all let us uh, add some text over our sheet in excel so excel is the simple text that i'm going to add up till this and up till this okay so this is what i have created and if we just go to the alignment tab here is what we have as orientation if you can see we can uh, change its direction say angle counterclockwise so these are these different angles of orientation which we get over here using this orientation option so this is what we are going to do right now then uh, using the merge cells we can merge these cells into one using unmerge we can unmerge it suppose we have got these cells and we use this merge option you can click ok and you can see it has merged them all into one cell so these are all these things that we are going to see today using the visual basic coding ok so let's start with it we already have a excel sheet with some data and let's create a macro for this so in vba go to insert tab and insert a new module let's rename it to say formatting then just create a sub procedure in it by using the keyword sub and uh, providing it a name like format underscore cells open and close parenthesis this is going to be the name of our macro and let's start formatting so first of all what formatting we've got to apply is change its orientation okay so uh, the question is actually how can we change its orientation so for changing the orientation we can use two things either we can use a range of cells or a single cell so first of all i'm going to show you a single cell only now for using this uh, i'm going to type the range function the reason uh, why i'm typing this range function is because using this range function whenever you press dot you get a list of properties through which you can toggle so it's easy for beginners who have um, just started coding with vb to see what all properties do they have and they can use it without any mistakes otherwise you can use any of the options that we have discussed previously so here what i'm going to do is provide a range of a single cell that is simply a1 then put a dot now here that's what i'm talking about this is the uh, list of the properties which we have at our disposal now here the property that i'm looking for is orientation and luckily i have got the exact property name in microsoft excel so just press o see it's orientation written put a tab and then put an equal sign now as you can see orientation provides us two methods through which we can uh, just rotate our text either in a clockwise direction or in a counterclockwise direction okay so uh, both of these directions it could be rotated but it needs some angle of rotation that it by what angle you need to rotate the text so that is what we got to provide over here that is the value of the angle with which we want our text to be rotated so suppose we want our text to be rotated by 90 degrees so we just simply press 90 and what happens is our text in the selected cell would be rotated by 90 degrees so let's see by pressing f5 and you can see the text has rotated to a 90 degree angle now uh, this is one example let us just copy this whole thing and paste it 
okay now what happens is suppose we do not want 90 degree you want some else angle suppose you want 30 degrees so what will happen is the text would first rotate to 90 degree and after that it would rotate to a 30 degrees okay so for this let us use f8 for step by step execution first of all text would rotate to 90 degrees which is already rotated so no change would be seen then it would be rotated to 30 degrees you can see it's rotated to 30 degrees okay simply if you want some else value or uh, you can provide it suppose you want it to be rotated by 50 degrees okay so now that would uh, that is what it would do that first rotated by 90 degrees then by 30 degrees and then by 50 degrees so that's how your text would be rotated by the different angles but you have noticed one thing that it is rotating only in one direction what if you want to rotate it to some other direction suppose to the opposite direction then what you got to do is simply use this thing only but instead of this positive value you got to provide it with a negative value suppose you write minus 90 then what happens is it rotates the text in the opposite direction now let's see what happens let's use f8 first of all it rotates 90 degree over here then again if we press f8 30 degree over here 50 degree over here but as soon as we press minus 90 then it goes to this other direction and the rotation of the text happens in the other direction so that is uh, why because we have used this negative sign over here negative sign means it toggles the direction simply if you do not want it to be rotated at 90 degree but by some else uh, value you can just copy this thing paste it and provide the value suppose you want minus 60 degree or uh, then you want some else suppose minus 10 degrees okay so that's how you can work with it you can simply press f8 first 90 degree then 30 degree 50 degree then minus 90 degree minus 60 degree minus 10 degrees okay that's how the rotation works but now if you decide that you do not want your text to be rotated at any angle you want a simple no orientation then what you can do is uh, you can just provide the orientation angle at zero whenever the orientation angle is at zero your text returns to what it was by default with no angle of orientation okay now let's see now what we have done is just get rid of all the lines of code and we have got only these two lines let's execute it a step by step process First of all, uh, its orientation of A1 would be set at minus 10 and then when this line is executed where we are setting the orientation angle at 0, then you can see that the orientation angle of A1 is set to 0 which means it is now normal as the rest of the cells as well. Okay, So that was all about orientation. Now uh, let us see that what happens if you want to wrap text. Suppose uh, we are first going to set its orientation for that purpose at 60 degrees and then what we are going to do is just uh, use the property when we put a dot then we use a property called wrap text and it accepts two values either true or false if we set it to true then the text would be wrapped and if this wrap text is set to false then this text wouldn't be wrapped so let us see uh, executed orientation minus 10 orientation 0 orientation 60 now when we set wrap text to true then what happens is this text is now wrapped okay but uh, when we set it as false uh, okay so just copy this thing and paste it here and set its value of wrap text as false and let's see what happens okay so let us just execute it this is orientation set to 60 degree uh, this time we have set the wrap text property as true so you can see here that it is written like this but now if we set it to false then it is written like this so that's about wrap text in ms excel uh, so that is all for uh, this video in this video we learned about orientation and wrap text properties uh, which are basically a part of the alignment group in the next video we would be looking at some more properties uh, which helps us to format the cells and one most important property in it is merging and unmerging the cells so that's all for this video
Thanks for watching.